the Empire by this is Rampane, and welcome back to my Austria Hungary campaign. We're going to continue where we left off from the last time in the Great War mod, where the Great War, I would properly say, is now actually starting because I'm now having to deal with, if you guys didn't uh, see it in the last video, we are now at war with, well, Italy's actually retaliating down in Sicily. Romania is working with Russia at the same time to advance into my lands. So there's a lot of shit going on on our eastern border right now, which is going to be very fun as we have several armies we have to murder. Oh god, this is going to be interesting. So, we've got some forces around here. I'm trying to gather some forces around in Hungary right now. Trying to get another force going around here. To kind of try and delay them. Uh, you don't have anything recruited right there. We're trying to get the artillery pieces. You've got some machine guns. I've got these two armies here that are coming in to try and reinforce. One of them is going to have to go towards Belgrade, and one of them is going to have to go up towards Hungary, uh, towards Budapest. So I'll have it so you guys keep making your way on up there. You're going to keep making your way on up there. Uh, this area, B Belgrade, should be pretty easy for us to take back, I believe. I don't think that's going to be too much of an issue unless this army decides to actually come in over here and help. Um, and then I have to keep this one army around here. And hopefully I can use you to try and retaliate and take Palermo back. Right now, you're going to stay around here for the most part and kind of try and keep an eye on Naples. See if this force is going to make their way on over here to try and attack them. If they do, that's what you have to deal with. Um, otherwise, for the most part, I think you will just be kind of trying to sit around here waiting until my navy is ready. Because right now, my navy is being built up here. It's about one more turn until you get some more ships here and here. And as soon as we can get, I'd probably say... There's 11 ships here. There's five ships there. Five ships there. So they've got, they've got a full stack of ships. I will probably at least have to recruit at least... I need at least half a stack, at least. Um, also, one thing that was brought up uh, in the comments, uh, actually, from one of the mod developers, actually, uh, is one of the reasons why... Oh, okay, that's why. I need... Yeah, because again, um, right now, one of the reasons why my research is also so slow is because I am not... I didn't upgrade these yet, because right now... This one just gives... Wait, what? Conducts research, 25 points per turn. Oh, okay, improves faction-wide research, one point per turn. And then it has... Oh, uh, yeah, 50, okay. But to get that, I actually need Trench Warfare, which Trench for where Warfare needs mass mobilization and needs mass production. But if I get this, this enables, enables us to have uh, barbed wire and trenches... Um, reduces attrition, minimum returns, hold out, recovery rate, cheat of battle. Okay. Ooh, it also lets me get railway guns. Like, I know I've been holding off on getting that because I don't have any really good units to kind of just hold back. Because the thing is, it suggested that I should use, like, some sort of militias to kind of watch over my cities, but... Man, some of these guys can be... That's just a lot of money. I think technically these guys would be my cheapest units to do. If I'm going to have some sort of garrison unit watch over my cities, that's probably the best way to do it. But for right now, I do need to have it so like you guys here. That's damaged. We're repairing that. As soon as we finish the research we're currently going for, I will finally <laughs> grab mass mobilization and everything else I need. Mass mobilization and also is mass production. Yeah, mass production as well. Which we have kind of been researching, but it's going to be a minus two for industrialization, which is going to suck. But it actually does increase our recruitment capacity and uh, across naval and land battle units. So that'll be useful. But again, we're just going to have to probably put some random guys in all my cities because I don't want everybody to be pissed. And right now, it's just my proletariats are just really pissed off. I could lower the taxes on them a little bit, because right now, government-wise, I make about 4,300. If we go to policies, uh, this will make it so you guys, it does minus three at this point. If I lower the taxes, it's only minus one. That, like, did, like, nothing. They're still at zero! <laughs> they are still at zero, even if I do this. That's a, that's such bullshit. And I also make it less, 700 less. It does improve happiness a little bit, but not by much, really. I might have to do that, though, possibly. We'll kind of wait and see. Because right now, over here, I'm going to hope that if I have a small army around here, maybe we can kind of hold this area. We just have a lot going on, and it's going to be very interesting to see what's going to happen around here. And right now, it's mainly just 
continue producing troops, see what we can do. We're going to have to try and have, I'd say, two armies around here in Italy to try and push back and actually finish off Italy. I have to actually kill them. Um, and then I might have to push back against France a little bit. But for now, I think I don't actually have a whole lot to build at the moment. Infrastructure is all built up. We've done as much as we can for our economy around there. And I think around here as well. Well, no, I can get some of these too. That can help us out, get some more representation. We can grab that. Can't grab that because we don't have trench warfare yet. And then I think that's it. Because these don't have the next one we can get yet. We don't have the research for that. No. Okay, so that's all we can do for that. So in the meantime, then we'll actually just keep recruiting more units. Um, I think what we need to do is over around here. I need to have something just in case they are going to send a force over to try and attack us around here. So let's get some artillery around here. You're, oh, actually, you're already getting some artillery. Uh, you guys don't need to grab artillery, though. Grab me some more infantry. Because you've already got three pieces of artillery. That should be fine. I'll just get some more infantry around over here, here, and here. And we'll just try and have another force that's going to help watch over the West, just in case you guys decide to be a bit more aggressive, France. I'm going to hope they don't, because right now we have to have it so that these two armies are really focusing on the offensive in the East. The army... Oh, please don't attack me. Opportunity to intercept. No. You have so much movement. Oh, they're you're fucking next to me. That's not what I want. That is not what I want for whatever whatsoever. And then France is making their way in over here too. Okay, yeah, because this is where things are really heating up in this campaign, where I have so many enemies on all fronts. If I can get some time, we can get another army in Italy. I probably should take the force I have in Rome and maybe have them push up, and I might have to actually push into France a little bit more to prevent them from wanting to push into me. Because you guys here, they are... I can easily at least get... Wait, why can't I... Why can't I, uh... What the hell? You can't move. Okay, I'll check on them in a second. Uh, because I don't know why that's not letting me move this army for whatever reason. Path blocked. Oh, okay, this is why. Um, so, ally was attacked. The aggressor is Portugal. I will, I'm definitely entering the war on the side of my ally. I'm not, I need to not break my alliance with Germany. I need to keep that. So I'll enter on Germany's side. We need to keep that alliance. Because if I, if I lose that, that'll be a huge issue. I do have those ships. Okay, because now we should be able to, yeah, now we can go over here. That's why. I don't know why that didn't pop up initially, but there we go. So let's have you guys get rid of them. Just get them out of that port. I hate that you guys can run away for stupid ass reasons. Keep preparing that, and then just keep trying to train them. Uh, keep trying to ca uh, catch up to them. I mean, um, let's enlist a general as well. I need somebody to lead this army. Let's see. Command one besieging. Good defender, confident general. I will probably say you, Hermann Kovas von uh, Konfachaza. I'll grab you. You're going to lead this army. That way, at least, they'll make sure they're replenishing. Um, down around here. Let's see. So, right now. Part of me wants to push more. Like, try and see if I can push now. Because I don't have to kill the navy. I don't have to destroy the entire naval force of Italy. I just have to take these cities. Then the navy will disappear. So, if I can survive with maybe just these five ships. These are good ships. But I think I should get a little bit more. So, let's get a couple more uh, Habsburg class pre, -dread uh, pre dreadnought battleships. Try and queue some of those up. I can only get, um, I can try and get some cruisers here, too. Hull strength 2,000. If I was going to get anything, the armored cruisers are not the worst. If I just compare, like, speed, firepower, how many guns do they have? Uh, you guys have 34 guns, 34 guns. These are really really cheap. I could try and get a couple, quite a few light cruisers, have them kind of soak up a lot of the damage of my pre-dreadnoughts. I think I'll try that, because I just need a larger navy. I need that. You, uh, for some reason, are not punishing in our own lands anymore. That's strange. Okay, but you'll be able to get a little closer up here. I'm going to hope you being closer to this area is going to prevent them from wanting to attack the city just yet, because I don't have everybody in position yet. You keep making your way over to Belgrade. You keep trying to do that. 
These guys keep trying to gather around in Vienna. You guys need to keep making your way on over here too. These guys will finish their... Yeah, they'll finish those guys in one more turn. Because um, right now, this army, we've got half a stack here. So we've got ten guys there, three here. There are a total of four pieces of artillery here, so that's seven. Um, we need two more units and then a general. Which I think I will just recruit two more guys there. Try and recruit that. We'll get another general around here later. But that should be good for you guys. They should have to hope that they won't attack immediately. Are, okay, are they allied together or are they just working in tandem? They are actually straight up allied. Oh, shit. That's not good. They are straight up allied. Part of me wonders... Because you've got artillery pieces. That's the issue. Um, pull back. Abandon Budapest for now. Pull back. Make sure we have those forces. Because I think... They also... Oh, if they do siege it, they might not attack it immediately. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to bring you guys back here. What? Why... Okay, for some reason you guys did not have the same movement range that you were saying you had there. That's a little weird. But okay, uh, this is a tactical risk here, or tactical risk, uh, to abandon Budapest. As I think right now, if they just assault us as we are here, these guys will just kill these men, and they won't, like, we're not going to get any benefit out of that. They'll just be able to freely kill them, because we have no artillery here. We can't fight them without any artillery. So... We just have to pull back, wait until these guys get over here to actually assault them. You guys here. I'm gonna I'm gonna start moving this army down toward are they actually happy to leave here? It is at minus fucking one. Can you stop? Cause let's see. Uh part of me thinks, let's see, cause right now money wise, we're only making twenty six hundred. Okay, we're only making twenty six hundred. Um these are my cheapest units. Just get some more of these guys. Just get three of those units. They're the cheapest I can field. Grab some of them as a garrison. I'm going to start moving you down here. And I think I'm at least going to wait for these cruisers. If I can at least get these cruisers, I'll have at least about half a stack. Um, and if they can maybe at least just distract the enemy, I can have them uh, circle a lot of damage for my pre drawdowns to do more of the damage. I think that can work for us, hopefully. Hi, France. Oh my god. Please don't decide to attack my western front. Oh my god, France. What the hell? Okay, opportunity to intercept. No. I, I, I'm I, gonna let you seize that. Because I need to buy time. This is an opportunity to intercept that I am gonna take. Uh, I'm making sure you guys don't get away this time. So let's get in here, shoot these all to death. Because I need to get you guys out of here and just buy time. So far, they aren't moving in unison yet. So I think I have some time to gather a force together around here. Because as long as I can get at least one army together, for the most part, I can do quite a bit of damage to armies that are larger than my size, usually. Um, as long as I've got some good artillery, at least. Um, so let's start the battle here. They're way over here, so let's just kind of advance over this way. You guys advance over. Ah, oh, there is that cover piece there. Okay, let's just have it so we'll have like you guys there and there. General, just kind of sit back and wait. Um, as soon as we get in melee in range uh, to fire news guys, well, they've got trenches. Uh, we'll be able to easily slaughter this tiny little army. There's only about like what 200 of them. Yeah, there's only about 200. Okay, so they're just about on the other side of this uh, barricade. Uh, I'm gonna have it so you guys just wait. Let's get uh, these guys in position to kind of try and flank them from over here, just in case they decide to just walk straight into us. Since you guys speed that up, they are kind of walking directly towards us. Should be just about in range to start opening up on them. Oh, actually, they've got a longer range than us. Oh, you know, they're shooting these guys. Okay, that's what they're shooting at. So if you guys move just a little bit, you can kind of hit them, but not really. Glorious but open up on them there. The they're doing a little bit more damage than I would like over on these guys. Lost about 60 guys already. So they're going to at least get a decent amount of kills here. That's about 20, nip, 60. Okay, that's not that bad. But hopefully that destroys the entire army so they don't just run away randomly. I get them out of the picture now. Um, and let's see, yeah, we got lost about 100 guys there. That's okay. Get you guys out of there. Oh, they are making their way on over. Shit. I need time. 
I need time. I need at least probably like six turns. At least like six turns, and then I'll have a, another army actually over here and ready to go. Milano, I think, needs two more turns. So path blocked. Yep, that's... So you... Make your way on over there. That's repaired. That's re that's supposed to be repaired. <laughs> They're slowly walking in. Oh, God. I'm glad the... I'm glad the French seem to have a lot of infantry and not a lot of artillery. Um, that's beneficial for us. You guys here... Start getting, bringing all these men over this way. We don't have much right now. Oh, God. Because my economy... How are we doing on economy? I'm only making 900. Oh, God. Okay. I need to do something quickly. Honestly, I... I'm just going to have you guys walk back over here. I don't have the time to just wait for my fleet. I'm going to make your way over here. I need to take Palermo back. Because that city is valuable to us. It was making a decent amount of money. Um, okay. So, the way this is going right now... Okay, I can take Belgrade back pretty easily. You're going to be attacked right here. We'll attack this little force here. Come on. Yeah, that's what I want. Okay, so now we'll be able to lure their enemy, their reinforcements onto the map. Be able to easily slaughter them through a fish-in-the-barrel tactic. Kill all these guys, take the city back. Hopefully the public order is not that pissed off because I am liberating the city. I held for about a year, technically in-game. I held it for about a year. I'm taking you from one conqueror to another conqueror, and I was just treating them better, so hopefully they'll be happy. We can take this back. The one force around... There is the one force around... Hungary that we're going to have to figure out. Because right now, at least the Russians should not be able to reinforce the Romanians. That should be a thing. So let's have you guys... Um, the reinforcements... The enemy reinforcements should be coming just, like, from back here, back here. So having my artillery just set up as you are probably... Yeah, right here doesn't seem the worst. So, unlimber about here. You guys can do that. And then I'm just going to need to advance my infantry as quickly as possible up to them. So that we can try and figure out wherever they're spawning from and just camp them. That's our goal. So let's have you guys... Go, go. Rush on in. Try and okay, so they're actually mainly coming in from around over here. So you guys need to move a little bit further over this way. Because that's where the main forces are coming from. So you guys go there there, you guys about there, and then these guys about here. We need to focus most of our attention on this side. As long as you guys can get over there before most of their armies on the map, we'll be able to easily just slaughter them all as they make their way on. That's my hope. Uh, my artillery pieces, not doing a lot to them. Oh, no, okay, this guy's dying a little bit. This one's lost a little. The general's lost, like, one guy. My infantry actually hasn't lost all that much, which is good. They are primarily focusing on my artillery pieces themselves as well. Okay. Keep moving on up, guys. You guys are almost in range. As soon as you get up here, we can easily slaughter these pieces. Um, their cav is making their way forward. All the cavs being moved on first. They've got, like, three pieces of artillery already lined up there. Okay. Uh, how are you guys doing over here? Because you guys over here, you need to keep moving. Because I need to get you guys roughly over here. You guys need to make your way over there. You guys kind of make your way over here. You guys... Do need to make sure you're still kind of watching the town area until these guys are fully dead. Because they're not out of the picture just yet. They are sh being shot at. But they're not out of this picture yet. One unit still is alive. And they do have these CAG units we have to worry about. Which, you guys, stay as you are. Open fire on them. Destroy these Romanians. We need to take our land back. The death of the conquer. So you guys do that. We're almost done with this force. These guys here, um, my artillery cannot shoot that far. Okay, I will have to adjust my artillery, which I think I will do at this point now. I'll, I'll limber you guys back up. We'll get you guys a little bit closer. This area is secure at this point, basically. So I don't need my artillery there anymore. So you guys can kind of just keep walking on up forward. We've got a... Yeah, I don't have all that much. So you guys need to just keep making your way forward. Same with you guys. Kind of slowly go through this forest. I don't know if there's anybody in there. I thought I saw some CAG moving on up, but that might be not be the case anymore. So you guys, let me know when you're able to move. Then you guys can move down. I'm going to probably have to move you guys like to up here. It's going to take you guys a while to get in position, sadly. Okay, my infantry is almost in position. You guys are just going to get a little bit closer, and then I'll have you start opening up on their dragoons. Then we can start getting closer to their actual spawn point, which is 
kind of a giant amalgamation of uh, horsemen just sitting there. Uh, you guys are almost in position, at least. These guys are, they, they, for some reason, they're moving their artillery forward, which they really shouldn't be. But I'm okay with that. That makes it you guys a bit easier to take out. Keep trying to bring these guys through the town, so at least I have some guys in cover of the buildings. As soon as these guys are dead, I'll have you guys move forward. You guys are, uh, yeah, I'll move you too. You start moving up as well, as these guys can handle those artillery pieces. You guys, well, they're opening fire. Let's move you a little closer as well. As soon as this team is dead, I'll move you guys up, which is just about now, actually. So let's go to about there. Keep pushing, guys. Uh, those artillery pieces are almost dead. Artillery pieces of my own. Um, almost in position, because from this area, they should be able to open up on the enemy. Got one more of you left, just six guys. So once this guy's dead, we can have you. Oh, there we go. <laughs> just all keeled over. Okay. Uh, let's move you guys forward now. You guys keep moving forward too. You guys get up to about here. Because these guys will start being able to hit a couple more of them. We just need to hit this giant blob right here. Because there's a lot of guys just sitting right there. As soon as we can just start opening up, we'll get so many kills from just AoE damage. Uh, you guys here. Uh, almost there. This guy's just about ready. And unlipper. Okay, so you can start opening fire. You should be able to hit from that position. Let's see. I believe you should have the range. Ah, oh, almost. Damn it, you don't. Okay, I have to get a little bit closer. Okay, so unlimber. Everybody else can keep pushing forward at least. Uh, let's keep trying to go around this way. Because you guys are also trying to make your way over here. Hit them from all sides instead of just from one. You guys can... Pretty much hit everybody, so I think I'll just leave you there. You guys can hit a couple of them. I'm gonna be a little bit closer. And then these guys too. Get about right there. I need to get just a little more so I can hit all of you here. And then my artillery pieces, I need to move you a little bit closer. Uh, it was about to here, I think you can then hit them. We have killed their general sir. I don't oh, know if it'll be break. necessary, but I just want to make sure we have my artillery opening up on them as well. We're doing okay. You guys should... Yeah, you can now start hitting this blob. There, at the end, my artillery gets to join on in, as I've practically now slaughtered everybody. There's only a couple stragglers left, but this will be the first of many armies we have to kill from Romania and Russia. There's so many of them. Oh my god. This is going to be a intense couple next videos, for sure, with how many battles we have to fight and just go through to eliminate our enemies and secure our borders, because, oh my god, we have so much going on right now. At least Romania seems to have some pretty basic artillery pieces. My artillery's better. Close victory, my ass. No. I slaughtered them as they were trying to reinforce. That is not a close victory. Um, and let's see. How many... Okay, I only got about 70 of my own friendly fire. That was not that bad this time. Um, let's see. How did you guys do on the number of kills, actually? Like, one unit got most of the kills. 281. Not bad, man. Okay. So there we go. I'm now going to walk on in, and I can't demand surrender still for some reason. I'm just going to auto-resolve that. Um, we can slaughter you guys, take back Belgrade. That'll give us a little bit more money. Uh, I will just military occupy. It should be better because we were under the control of this city for a while. That should help our economy a little bit. Uh, no, it made it worse. <laughs> Uh, it does make us like 451, but it's okay. I think once I repair everything, it'll be okay, because this one increases the... Oh, this one does increase the representation. This does give us 300 per turn, though, so that will be a decent amount. Let's grab that. So, okay. So that's one force dealt with. Um, what I'm going to do is I think, again, you guys... A part of me is wondering if I want to have you... St Ooh, I can test out the super heavy howitzers. Almost. Because you guys are making your way over here. Uh, these guys are still... A couple turns away. Because that's the reason why I'm losing so much money is these super heavy howitzers. Because uh, I think... I don't think I'll need them, but I'll have those guys nearby. I can hit you. You shouldn't be able to have any reinforcements. It's just yourself. Don't know why the odds are so in your favor. You do, okay, sure, you have six... Six artillery pieces. That's it's not going to be enough, though. So we can push this army out, kill them off. Then we need to gather the force together that's going to be pushing from the northern uh, section of this area. They'll cross the bridge. 
I'll have it so that this army that I'm controlling right now will keep going back down south. Try and regroup with the forces around Belgrade, kind of. Then we'll have three armies pushing east, and we need to push as quickly as possible because I'm going to start losing money again. <laughs> again. Uh, you guys unlimber that, start the battle, and then I'll start moving these guys forward. It's a pretty mountainous region here, at least. It's kind of in our favor. Okay, you guys start rushing up there. You guys up there. Um, it is really uphill fighting here, which is not good for us. So have you guys keep going there. There, and about there. Okay. All of you guys keep moving on up. We got there six pieces of artillery, but again, these things should have lower accuracy Sir. than mine. Sir, our general is under attack. Get out of the way, man. Pull on back. Because as long as we can get in range and hit their artillery pieces, we should be okay. So men, just kind of rush on up. Should be in range with these guys soon. Um... Almost. They are making their way towards us, so I'll let you guys sit there. These guys, I'm actually going to keep moving forward. I need to get over to those artillery pieces as quickly as possible, so you guys kind of just wait for their infantry that's making their way on up already. You guys, I'll have to keep moving forward a little bit more too. And then you guys as well. So we're going to have some of you keep pushing, some of you hold, and just open fire on their units. Like, this guy is getting slaughtered. Uh, this guy is shooting us. One of you return fire on him at least. The rest of you decide to just keep pushing forward until you're a little bit closer. As you line on up, I'll have you kind of open fire in a second too. Yeah, there you go. That's what I want. This guy, this guy's dead. This guy's taking some damage. You guys are okay as you are. You guys need to get close enough to hit those units. How's this guy doing? This guy's at 150. Kind of line up like that. Line up like so. Start opening up on this unit, kill him off quickly, and then this is probably the area we'll be able to easily go hit their artillery pieces. So you guys are dying. Infantry is doing okay. My artillery is taking a bit of a beating. Which I do not like. Come on, kill this guy. Break him. There we go. Now he's broken. Okay, you guys keep pushing up this way. You're almost to their artillery pieces. You guys keep pushing up as well. And then you guys uh, push up a little bit more. These guys are fine as they are. You guys are at least in range, just barely. Move up a little bit more. Move up a little bit more, hit those cav units. These are good. You guys are almost in range of one artillery piece. So I have to move you up a little bit further, just about here. These guys are still moving on up. I suggest you guys to go like there. These guys are broken, so I'm gonna start moving you guys a little bit more forward. These guys as well. All the infantry is practically dead. Infantry is all dead. They've got their cow and their artillery pieces. Which, that's fun. That's easy enough. So you guys can move a little bit closer. Uh, these guys are just about in range of this one piece. Yeah, open, open up on that guy, break him, and then just keep going down the line of getting rid of artillery piece after artillery piece. There you go. Let's keep moving up a little bit more. You guys go there. You guys line up a more too. You guys are still moving forward. And then you, I will move up to about here as well. Okay. Because this will be at least one army out of the way. That's good. And at least because we've got the artillery, not the artillery, the railways, we've got quite a bit of replenishment now. And I can actually move far faster to replenish my, uh, replenish the uh, lines um, than before, which is great. Although I still hate that. It seems like the AI gets the run across the map way faster than I do, which is such bullshit. Because that one Romanian army that besieged uh, here, they moved like halfway across Eastern Europe almost. You guys are on fire? Come on, open fire on them. I don't know why you guys aren't firing for some reason. You guys aren't either. It might just be because this hill. Ah, oh, yeah, what is... Okay, some pathing issues. I don't know why, but... What specifically? I'll just keep moving you guys forward. Eventually, you have to shoot them. Because okay, we don't have much left to finish them. Because there's just, like, this one arcade unit over here. We got you and a couple of artillery pieces. We've got this. Glorious charge! Although, I'm going to have so many friendly fire hits from this, honestly. Because there we go. Glorious just rush in melee. Up. There so you go. Beyond. This hill is a little glitched, though. Okay, there we go. So that's done. 
heroic victory. Maybe I'll push them back from here at least. Ah, that's what I needed. I took about a thousand kills. Okay, I only had about 70 dudes of friendly fire casualties. It's not that bad, actually. It's not that bad. Let's see. How the hell did my general get a kill? Um, okay. Not that bad. Not that bad. Okay. So now, that army's dealt with, for the most part. I'll have it so that you just hit that unit if you can, because you'll still be replenished. Just auto-resolve that. Finish them off. How the hell? Yes, I lost 154 guys for that. Bullshit. Okay. So you, uh, I would like for you to go sit in Hungary, but you cannot. Um, let's see. How are we doing our money still? Still not that great. I need a general, so we'll have to save our cash right now. And I think this army won't be able to be a full stack just yet. Because it's basically, you guys are grouping up around here. I'll have you go regroup with them as well. Because we're still going to be a couple guys short. That's one thing I actually kind of am concerned about. I almost wonder... Because over here, France has so much. Part of me wonders if what I should do is bring these guys over to the west. And have them help out with France. France has got... Five full goddamn stacks around here. Fucking five. I don't have the money to make two full stacks. I don't. I have enough money to make one more full stack. And I need to pick and choose who it's going to be. I kind of think I might send them over towards France, honestly. Because I'm expecting at some point you guys will, like, take this back? Or they're just ignoring it still. Um, I could almost maybe just ask for it back from them, honestly. I could try that. But for now, at least, um, you guys will just be here for a bit. Be a bit pissy. Let's let's do one intern, kind of see what they do with their forces. If France is going... To... Hi. Okay, Romania really wants to try and hit uh, Budapest. If here comes France. Okay. I, I can't intercept that. Actually. They only have machine guns. They have no artillery in that army. I'm not going to... Ah. Okay. If I remember correctly, the range on machine guns is the thing that makes it a problem. It's that 400 range. Yep, I'm gonna, uh, we're gonna fight this. It's on a, it should be a bridge. So we won't win this fight. But we should be able to do a decent amount of damage to them. I, I'm gonna bring those guys back over this way. I need to bring over the forces that we had. I, I'm gonna hope we can just inflict as many casualties as possible, as this is going to be a bridge battle. And they don't have artillery besides the machine guns. They've got the machine guns. I wish I had some of my own. Uh, I don't know which one they're going to go for. I kind of assumed this one. Let's try that. Let's just try and set you guys up over here. I'm hoping I'm, I'm right on this. Uh, no, they're going to probably go to... Uh, so, what I'll do is... You line up there. You line up there. And they're most certainly going to bring some guys over to... Uh, let's see, where's the other land bridge? The other one's right over here. They're not moving yet, actually. Damn this weather, sir. Wet powder makes misfires a certainty. Start walking you guys over here. They're not advancing just yet. Oh, no, they are. Oh, no, they are. Yeah, that range on the machine guns is going to be the death of me. They're already opening fire. They have double my range uh, on my infantry. Like, one of the, this unit's already almost dead. Half of its bodyguard is down. Uh, almost half. Third of it, at least. So you guys are trying to get up here and try and see if I can get you guys in range to maybe hit it. I don't think I'll be able to. They're doing too much damage to you in the meantime. If I just had some artillery pieces, that'd be great. Because, like, I need to get a little closer. I'm losing half these guys before I can even get in range, though, is the thing. Because, like, these dragoons, I'll be able to take you out. But these machine guns, I don't think I can do anything. You guys here, at least. I'll be able to take out these cab units. That I can easily do. You guys here, just try and do what you can, man. Like, do what you can. Because right now, just keep trying to focus down whatever you're able to. We're going to have to send more men over this way. I'm going to take the army I've got around Austria. I'm going to send them over here. I can't have France just walk in and start crushing me in uh, Italy. So, I'm going to hope you guys can do as many kills as possible. I think that should be uh, doable. You guys need to move a little bit closer. Because you'll just be able to kill these two fun. units. Um, is that a... That is a machine gun over there. Yeah, they're going to keep firing on us here. Ah, oh, damn it. And my general... Uh, just run, man. Gotta run over here. Because I've at least took it out, like, what, five units, I'd say, probably? It's just those machine guns. Also, they have unlimited morale, that's the thing. 
makes me hopeful for the one army that I made um, in Austria, where I have a couple machine guns in there. Because if these machine guns are being this effective right now against my infantry, that should actually be really useful for us. Because they have unlimited ammo, and that's one of the main issues I have, is my armies run out of ammo. You guys can't actually... <laughs> it's a bad idea, but like, fix bayonets, run across a bridge to go hit this machine gun. As he's gonna just probably mow us down, honestly. But we'll try it. Go! For the glory of the Empire! Wow, they actually made it there, holy shit. <laughs> I don't think you're going to win still, but... Wow, you guys are kind of... Yeah, you beat him back! Ah! Uh, if you guys don't continue advancing on me... Actually, I can wait out the timer, because... That won't, uh... Won't save the men we've lost, but it will at least stop their advance for a turn. The final stand of my brave 40 men. They're trying to take out as many of these horsemen as they possibly can. One of them is out of ammo, so they're just kind of just trying to distract for their friends, I guess. So these guys can get as many kills as possible. They are ignoring my general right now, but he's probably not safe for very long. Not my general ran. Close defeat. How many kills did we get? How many kills did we get? Because that's the hope. Because we killed... Okay. Okay. My general survived. I was able to kill over half their army before they took us out. That is not bad. He did lose. But... Got these amount of kills. And that's kind of all I can really hope for, honestly. We were outnumbered 3 to 1, and I killed over half their force. So we're going to be pushed back here. And yeah, this is where they're starting to bring in everything. I can't intercept that. He's dead. I'm sorry, man. You tried. You really did. You were able to delay their advance, at least. But they've got so many armies now. Yeah, I desperately am going to need to bring that force from Austria over here now. At least they're taking some attrition besieging my city over there. The th the I, I don't need those forces over here anyways, too. Right now, because I've been able to take out two full stacks of Romania's forces, we are in a better position right now. I am being sieged a lot. Um, my army's been destroyed there. Got a lot of raids. And workers on strike in Serbia. <sighs> Guys, I don't need this right now with you. I really don't. Uh, hi, Greece. Why? Why do you have a full stack army on that navy, please? I am uh, very, very curious as to what the fuck you're doing. You guys here, still making your way on over. It's about one more turn until you can get back over there and hopefully take that city. They are seemingly ignoring us around here for the most part. I'm hoping I don't have to have these guys in here. No, I can move them out. Uh, you... You can make your way over there. Because right now they're focusing their atten uh, attention over here. Um, I am going to start taking you guys. Start moving you together. All of you guys start making your way over this way. I need to send you back to Italy. Because at least I've got a good force here. This is this is good. I've got some really heavy artillery. I've got some uh, some machine guns. I've got some fodder. I don't have a general, but I don't have enough money for a general right now, so we'll have to just keep pushing forward. If I can just get you over here, and I'm going to try and save up. I'm actually losing cash right now. Fuck. Oh, that's not what I need. That's not what I need. Actually, I think I'm going to cancel these. I'm going to cancel these cruisers. I am going to risk it with what we've got right now. I don't have the time to get those cruisers, so let's bring you over this way. Because I need this cash for other things. I need this cash for a general for you. I'd rather have the money uh, be used right now. Uh, soldier from birth. Um, good defender. Uh, let's, uh, let's grab you, maybe. Unless this guy. Confident general. Soldier from birth. Uh, you're cheaper. So I'm going to get... Uh, Svetso uh, Zar. Uh, Borovic von Bonia. Something along those lines, I hope. Uh, yeah, grab you. That way we at least are having replenishment. You need to start making your way on over this way. Um, how's our research doing? Um, Sarajevo, we were able to take this back. So, start getting mass mobilization. I hate this. It's probably going to make it so we're going to be really pissed off. Um, I thought one of these was... No, none of those give public order bonuses. So, we'll have to just hope that my uh, public order is not as pissed off as I think it's going to be. You guys here, though, I'm going to have you sit for now. Russia's in a position where I think I can just kind of hold them as they are. This force right here, we are going to kill this army here. 
as these guys have yeah, a couple pieces of artillery. But no, we'll take these guys out, get rid of them, then we need to take some time to recover, then we're going to be pushing back into the east. That's basically kind of the goal right now with these guys. Just keep trying to push to the east, reclaim my land that I once held, and push into Romania. That's the hope, right now at least, because I think uh, Palermo we should be able to take next turn, we should be able to take that back, and then hopefully I just need to blitz that one other island Italy has and just kill them. I need them to just die, I don't care if I keep the city, I just need them to die. Because right now, them putting pressure over here on us is a huge issue. Especially because France has five fucking armies! I'm gonna hope that the force I have making its way over here, um, from Austria, because those the machine guns did a lot of damage to us in that one fight against uh, France. And I'm gonna hope that because I'm gonna have a couple of those, and I'll actually have some uh, guys with unlimited ammo, We'll be able to do a lot to those armies of France. And also, I can't wait to see what those artillery pieces do. Because they've got an insane range. They've got, like, double the range of these guys. And I'm hoping that those howitzers... They're going to be fixed positions, so I won't be able to move them throughout the battlefield. Which kind of suck if they're, like, in the other of the map and I can't actually reach them. But I'm assuming that if they've got, like, 2,000 range, they can basically just hit the entire map. That's kind of my hope right now. Because otherwise... Oh boy, um, they're expensive and not really all that worth it. But we'll have to hope that they can help out, because that's five French armies I have to kill. There are a lot of rivers over in western Italy that I can take advantage of, which I'm going to hope for, uh, because right now, five full stacks of French troops. That concerns me. I, although I do, again, I appreciate that France seems to focus a lot less on artillery as opposed to Germany. Did. Well, not Germany, I mean Italy. Italy focused a lot on mortars, which... Eh, more mobile than artillery pieces themselves, but they had kind of the same effect. Um, France seems to focus a lot more on machine guns, it seems like, so far, and just infantry and cav. Sir, which, if they do just sir, focus their attention on just that, because I focus on artillery so much, I should do well against them. That's my hope. Because I'm pushing forward there. You guys to about there. Glorious victory, sir. We just need to get in range of these artillery pieces now when we've won this battle here. Because at least Romania, they're similar to when we were fighting Serbia. Very similar armor composition. They haven't been able to develop themselves all that much because they're a small, one-settlement faction. And I am Austria-Hungary. I will devour you we have for our their empire. General, sir. Now they so must you guys break. keep moving to show up a little more. You guys do. You guys hopefully will actually fire this time. No. For some reason, you're not firing. Oh, there we go. They all break. I don't know why you guys have been a little weird on the mountains, or on the hills. But there we go. So there's another army dead with Romania. I lost about 200 guys. I killed seven of my own. Okay. Get them out of there. Uh, I want to chase them, but I also want to sit in the city and see if I can get some more punishment. I, I can't let you just run around. And there's all infantry units too, so I'll get a lot of easy kills there. Okay, so that's dead. So we've repelled the first wave of uh, Romanian troops. Now, we've got these two Russian forces still to deal with. And we have to get back over to Transylvania. I also need to push over to Bucharest itself. Still waiting on Serbia to be happy, which shouldn't be that much longer, actually. Because the uh, resistance to foreign occupation is still horrendous. Um, garrison forces is 10 of that. If this army's not in here, how is that? It's at negative 12. You guys still fucking hate me. Awesome. Honestly, what I think I might do is uh, here... Let's just get some more units, honestly. I'm going to start losing money. So let's just grab them now while we got them. I don't care if they're really shitty. I need troops. So let's grab some of these guys. Just need some more infantry around here to have some sort of garrison. I watch over the area. And then I've got basically all that I need. Because you... I have to just rely on these four generals to win us this fucking war, basically. Because hopefully, things are going to go hell, well here with Palermo. You'll be able to push on in. At least the AI is pretty good about trying to actually siege out instead of just assault immediately. So I might actually have some time to gather something together around here. Like, I can try and have you guys... Get... I have actually some artillery here, so this force can do something. Um, you guys keep trying to gather around over here as well. Just keep trying to gather something together for a defense. 
and we just have to hold until we can get the army from Austria over here. I'm... <laughs> Please, Greece. From my experience, I'm expecting Greece to just join in on this war here. I'm gonna hope not. Um, okay, so you guys... Opportunity to intercept. Is this gonna be a bridge battle is the question. If it's a bridge battle, I want to intercept it. They've got those mortars, though. I'm starting to get pretty beat up here. But it's an opportunity. They have only have two actual artillery pieces. Then they've got mortars. What are the range of the mortars again? I remember myself. 550. My artillery is just really beat up. Because you guys have lost about half to a third of your units. Um... I think... Let's try it. I think it's a bridge battle. If it's a bridge battle, because they're on the other side of the bridge. Come on, what is it? It's open field. Fuck. Okay. 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 I. Uh, it's a 200 man difference. But if I can just take this army out now, I'd I, I'm going to gladly take it. Because they're right there. Very mountainous. Okay. And I take the opportunity to intercept. I can't remember if I'm the aggressor or the defender. Um, but let's have you guys be set up here. We're going to play more defensively because I've got the artillery advantage here. I've got the range advantage with my artillery. I've got a decent amount of infantry. I need them to come to me, and there's a lot of hills here. So let's just kind of set on up here, kind of see what they're going to do first, and adjust to them. Because right now, I'm expecting them to advance on us. Because we are... Yep, they are advancing us. Okay, yeah. Abandon your trenches, please. Let me just get as many free kills with my artillery as possible, please. Because right now, it's the thing. They do have some more artillery pieces of their own. Which I almost feel like I should go rush up at them. But honestly, because we're so far back here... They shouldn't be hitting us all that often, honestly. I'm kind of tempted... Let's, let's wait, because I can take advantage of the terrain. So let's have it so like you guys here. Um, let's have some of you guys kind of make your way on over here. You guys, again, we will spread out at least. You guys kind of go over here. We are still waiting for them to primarily kind of walk over to us, but we're going to try and take advantage of the terrain. So like these guys have to kind of walk up on a hill. They won't be able to see us on the other side. Uh, uh, if I can get over here, I can take this high ground spot here. Also, there are these like little... Eh, these wouldn't really provide that much protection, but we can try. Uh, you guys kind of keep pushing in position. You guys here, let's see. They are slowing their advance over there. So you guys, I need it. I do need to try and get other artillery pieces at least, which I think I'll try and do with you guys. Because these guys here, I can try and take this high ground, move you guys in to strike and hit their artillery pieces. So, like, you guys can do that. Also, that's what their machine guns are. Oh, actually, no, those are light mortar batteries. Yeah, the light mortars are over here. So let's focus those down. Focus down with you guys. Because, yeah, just take this high ground spot. Take this high ground position right here. There you go. Okay, so you guys do that. Uh, I'm going to move these guys up here, too. I, I guess I am just going on the offensive a little bit. You guys, too, kind of advance on up to here. Take the high ground. There, I'd say. And then these guys. Um, I don't know what they're doing with these units. Oh, those are the light mortar batteries, too. More of the light mortar batteries and some other cab over there. Okay, um, what are you guys doing? Um, you guys are here. You're at least opening up on the other side of the so they're almost dead. Because as soon as I get rid of those units, we actually have a pretty good chance, obviously. So you guys here, let's try to keep moving you guys to battle here. You guys right there, all of you guys are just here. These guys are pushing on up, too. Um, my artillery, how far can you guys fire? Oh, I can hit their entire army. Oh, nice. Are they moving their, gen uh, their artillery pieces up, or are they already dead? No, they're over here. Okay, uh, focus this guy down. Focus that guy down. You guys are moving in position. You're good. These guys need to move on up a little bit more. You're about to take that high ground position. These guys, yeah, open up on primarily the Corsairs and their infantry. Although maybe um, some of my guys on this side, like you two, I think should actually focus your attention over here. 
help out on these guys on this side. Because these guys, at least the mortars, kind of uh, derp out a little bit, and they have to feel like they have to get in position before they start on fire. Oh, open up. Those guys don't seem like they're fine. And at least over here, oh, you guys are shooting the ground. You're kind of shooting the ground right now, so we're kind of move on up a little bit. We need to fix that. There we go. That should be better. Although we are going to get a charge here. Focus them down, please. One flank. Yep, there you go. Kill like 60 of them in a shot. There you go. Because we need to take this high ground piece. Yeah, go. Just move a little bit more. You guys are okay. This area is great. So I can get you guys to move on up a little bit more. Start trying to surround these guys. You guys are just trying to hold this hill. You guys are doing well over here. Okay, so I do think it was the best and better opportunity to intercept them here. Because this is going well. The enemy general's about half dead. They're slowly advancing up to this. But this area over here is practically under our control. Because you guys just need to get over here and we can start just surrounding them. So you guys can go there. You guys all just about here. Make your, I'm sure you're running into position. This area is struggling a little bit. Hold the line, damn it! They're walking just straight up to you guys as you fire. Uh, that area is struggling a little bit. You guys kind of try and finish off that light mortar battery. They are fighting us in melee now quite a bit with some of these guys. I think we'll be okay, though. Because, like, you guys can provide some fire and support. Emmy General's now dead. Uh, this cabbie needs to die. You guys can't hit him right now. Don't shoot the ground, you idiots! Oh my god, I hate this. I love that you guys just decided to... Oh yeah, we know we're there. We, we can't see their eyes yet, but yeah, we can shoot, shoot them. Maybe. Now you can open fire properly. Let's see, I think... Uh, can you guys, like, rotate? Those guys are running. Let's see if you guys move a little bit more. One of our units okay, has used I think... That's most of their stuff. They've got some stuff back here. Let's kind of advance on that. That should just be the artillery pieces. Yeah, artillery piece and some calf. Okay. But there we go. We were able to repel this Russian uh, assault. They now should only have one more army, and then we can keep pushing over into the east. Because basically what we'll probably do is this army, I think, just start moving on forward uh, to the Glorious east already. Victories, huh? They will need to it's replenish to a little bit. But I think we can make our way over... There you go. Oh my god, we took so much damage there. Part of me almost wants to merge these guys together, but I know that's not going to do much. Okay, so there we go. I'm so beat up here. Oh, my flags are broken again. Okay, gotta love that. But I'm going to be done with this video anyway soon. Oh, Russia, hi. Actually, we'll be done ending the video here, because I'll be trying to fight this battle here. I have to hope I can win this. If we can win this battle, we can get... We can make sure we have a... The battle which is great. Um, we can make sure we actually have a chance to push in and just take their last settlement and finish Italy off. But, I'm going to end this video for now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, maybe uh, let me just know down in the comments down below. I love hearing what you guys have to say about this campaign. Any thoughts on it in general. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. But this is Rampane, and I'll see you guys next time.